Hello friends, I'm Dr. T, wishing you a great uh, summer. Today I'm going to put my cardiology and elite physiology hat and we're going to address what's killing us. What's killing is sudden cardiac death and we have four questions for today. Uh, what is killing us? How common are sudden cardiac death? What is sudden cardiac death? What are the warning uh, signs? And we're going to end up uh, with uh, quiz uh, time. So what's killing us? Looking at data for 2021, heart disease is still number one with around 700,000. Cancer took number two, and COVID stole the show at number three, ahead of injuries and uh, strokes. But heart disease has been our number one killer since 1918, the year of the Spanish uh, flu. Uh, how common is sudden cardiac death? Sudden cardiac death accounts for more than half, more than 50% of all cardiac deaths, and it's estimated between 200 and 350,000 deaths a year. Most of these deaths occur in people deemed not to be a high risk category in sudden cardiac death. In some papers, up to 50% in men, 68% of women with not recognizable heart disease before the event. Worldwide, we have 3 million people. Europe, not better than the United States, about the same, up to 450,000 deaths a year. What is sudden cardiac death? Sudden cardiac death is a death that occurs within an hour of the onset of symptoms. Again, it accounts for more than 50% of all cardiac deaths. Some people define as a death occurring within 24 hours of the onset of symptoms uh, to include persons who are unexpected who were unexpectedly found dead and were apparently healthy and well um, the day before. Uh, cardiac arrest is not a heart attack, a myocardial infarction. A heart attack is a blockage one of the arteries from the, takes blood from the artery to the heart. Uh, in uh, cardiac arrest, the entire heart uh, stops working. Uh, there is a circulatory arrest. What are the warning signs of uh, sudden cardiac arrest? Well, you could have uh, chest pain, you could have shortness of breath, you could have palpitations, uh, fainting, or no symptoms at all. The uh, chest pain is usually on the left precordium, could radiate to your left shoulders, down your left arm, it, but it could go to your right shoulder, right arm, it could go to your neck, to your jaw, and even to your back. You could have shortness of breath, inability or difficulty in breathing that uh, uh, appeared all of a sudden. You could feel palpitations, skip the beats, racing in the heart. You could have profuse uh, sweating and you could uh, actually feel lightheaded and even uh, faint. And a uh, heart attack in some cases could lead to a uh, cardiac arrest. Uh, but most of the time, your cardiac arrest uh, occurs without any preceding symptoms. So who is at risk of sudden cardiac death? People who already had a prior cardiac arrest and survived. People who had a prior heart attack. And people who had a bad heart, who have congestive heart failure, had a bad uh, ejection fraction, especially less than 36%. These are the people who are highest risk for sudden cardiac death, and they may need an implantable defibrillator. You need to talk to your doctor about this if you are in this category. But uh, the vast majority of cardiac arrests occur in people in the low risk category, and presently they are not candidates for implantable uh, defibrillators. In conclusion, heart disease has been and continues to be the number one killer since 1918. Uh, cardiac death accounts for more than half of all cardiac deaths. Most of the warning signs are uh, non-specific. cardiac death is the first manifestation of heart disease in more than 50% of patients. And the majority of cardiac deaths occur in people at low risk and in the general population, primordial prevention is the only way to tackle these issues. If you are in a high risk group, you need to talk to a doctor, you need to plan with fibrillator. It's quiz time, true or false. Is sudden cardiac arrest the same as sudden cardiac death? Uh, no, the sudden cardiac arrest, if not successful resuscitated, would lead to a cardiac uh, death. Uh, is sudden cardiac death the same as a heart attack? No. In uh, sudden cardiac death, the whole heart stops. 
in a heart attack is in fact a plumbing issue. Uh, some part of the heart is not getting enough uh, uh, blood because the artery uh, to that part of the heart is blocked. Can a heart attack lead to a cardiac arrest? Absolutely. Uh, one of the reasons you should not drive yourself or have a family member drive to the emergency room, you need to call the ambulance and the paramedics. And the first manifestation of heart disease is commonly a cardiac arrest, true or false? It is true. And remember, your health is too important to be delegated to others. Let's just take control. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I publish these videos on the second and fourth Friday of each month. See you next video.